Here at six o'clock, a not guilty plea today from the man accused of opening fire into a group of protesters in Jefferson Square Park, killing one of them on Saturday night. Stephen Lopez arraigned in court this morning. You see him here by video arraignment, entering his not guilty plea to murder and nine counts of wanton endangerment. He's accused of shooting and killing 27 year old Louisville photographer Tyler Girth. Lopez's cash bond set at a half million dollars. Tonight, Gabber Gegadis shares what we're learning about Lopez and how he was causing problems before Saturday's deadly shooting. In court Tuesday, 23-year-old Steven Lopez was told he could no longer use or have firearms and weapons. He was appointed a public defender. Court records show Lopez has more than one pending case. In March, he crashed his car and was cited for violations. His charges include failure to provide a license, insurance, and canceled registration plates. The next month, on the 1st of April, police charged him with trespassing after he was found lying on the ground inside a fenced storage area. A citation says he told police he was chasing his dog, which had gotten inside through a hole in the fence. Just a week before the deadly shooting in Jefferson Square Park, Lopez had gotten in trouble on two separate occasions. On June 17th, he was arrested on four charges, inciting a riot, harassment, disorderly conduct, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Then just two days after that, police arrested him again, this time for unlawful assembly and disorderly conduct second degree. He was scheduled to appear in court for those charges in September. So how and why was Lopez released after those two arrests? The background check shows both of those came with a zero dollar bail amount. The citation says it was an administrative release. Under this type of release, Kentucky Court's website says it only applies if a defendant meets specific criteria by Supreme Court order. Therefore, they may be released without a judge or judicial officer being contacted. His current bond for allegedly shooting and killing Tyler Gurr is set at $500,000. He's due back in court for a preliminary hearing next Wednesday at 9 a.m. For WHS 11, I'm Sanai Gebregetigas.